what is up youtube so it is i your favorite comic book presser on youtube pressing another book for the Izzyverse nyc so this is an awesome book this is amazing spider-man 316 signed by todd mcfarlane and he told me that he bought this book when it came out back in the day so he's had this a long time you can see he loved this sucker because it's got some issues, man. You know, you got some, I don't know what that is. You got some staining here. You got this fold on the bottom. Back cover looks pretty rough, staining-wise. Corners got some blunt corners. Stain doesn't go through, so we may be able to get that out. Um, you know, probably mid grade book, you know, five oh, maybe get it to six oh five five, but there's a lot of ticks in this sucker. But would I grade this book? Shit, yeah, I would grade this book, man. It's signed by Todd McFarlane. It's probably one of the best Venom covers ever done. Um, so let's get some steam on this thing and get it in the press. But before I do that, let's clean this sucker. All right, so what do I have to try to clean this? Obviously, I have absorbent sponges, nice fresh new ones. I cut these into cubes uh, so I don't ruin the whole thing. A racer pen, and I stole some cotton rounds out of my wife's makeup drawer because why not? Uh, so before I start, you know, I always like to point out, this is what happens when you clean books. You get a lot of schmutz on your eraser and you don't want to put that on a book you're working on. So, I always like to rub it clean before I start putting stains that weren't on a book, that were on another book. So, nice and clean. You can see all the crap that came off that. So, man, I don't know where to start with this thing, man. I don't know what this is right here, but we're going to try to get it off. like it's coming off so that's a good sign and this is a freaking awesome book so i'm hoping i could work a miracle for him but like you saw in some of my other videos not all books can be saved sometimes they just are what they are you know you could dress up a dog in a dress and put some lip lipstick on it it's still a freaking dog so Like I said, you can see this stain in it. It's not through the cover, um, but it's it's a stain. You can see the uh, edges are pretty soiled from uh, dirty fingers as a kid. You know, when we were young, we didn't think we would be submitting these to be uh, put in a piece of plastic. We were just collecting them to collect them. And then we got older and we said, ah, oh, crap. I should have took better care of my comics. And this is a perfect example of it. And uh can't say I don't have a bunch that look exactly like this from uh, reading them several times and taking them out and referencing them, so on and so forth. But is what it is. Absorbing sponge. Damn, I wish I could get that out. It's not coming out, though. Try to whiten this dude's teeth a little bit. There you go, dude. Look at that, man. Who needs whitening gel? You got a freaking absorbing sponge. Almost looks like what I'm going to be wiping the book down in a second. Okay, clearly they look like that. One stubborn stain right there. I 
from doing this long enough, when you, uh, when you rub this over the book, you can almost feel it sometimes pulling, I don't want to say dirt, but something. You can feel it pulling back at you when you're trying to wipe it. So it is cleaner, but this right here, I don't even know if uh, double hopping that sucker would take that out. And then obviously the cover, I'm going to do this very gently and not mess around near the signature because I do not want to mess that up. Nice new one. over that signature because you don't know what kind of marker it is looks like it's a paint marker but not taking a chance all I want to do is wipe it and oh it's not signed anymore you get the idea all right front not that bad because where do we hold the book back cover all right let's steam this sucker get it on the metal plate and go to the next step Okay, so I already put the backer board at the center fold. Look at that artwork. And I thought there was a better page. I think I'm thinking of 299 where they show uh, Venom right in the beginning of the book. <clears throat> but 299 is a cameo, not the first appearance. But anyway, um, oh duh, this isn't 300. Never mind. Um, getting confused with my books here. So. Steamer going. I got the press heating up. I always like to do the outside and then obviously the inside. Very important, I do by the uh, spine, because that's usually where most of your issues are. See that color, that crease on the bottom there. All those ticks. Those ticks are not fixable. Shut this sucker off. Silicone parchment paper goes inside the covers of the book. I have one down on the metal plate. And why I do it on the metal plate and not on the press is very simple because one time I tried sitting it on the press and I folded the back cover and didn't know it. So I pressed a fold into my book and I was very, very pissed off. So now I do it where I know it's going to be sitting nice and flat and not going to have any issues. And that is the top one. I do not use a backer board on top. Reason being, the top of the press is hard metal. You don't need anything flatter than that. The bottom has a cushion. That's why I use the metal plate. Let's go over to the press. Alright, since this is a bronze copper age book, I have the press heated up to 160. It is a swing away press, but I don't need to swing it away. And as I always tell people, too much pressure is not always good. So if it's too snug, back it off a little bit. Let me spin this so you guys can see. You got a dial right there. Obviously clockwise tightens it, counterclockwise loosens it. Let's take some tension off of the book. Because if you press it too much, you're gonna damage that spine. You're gonna get spine stress. And there's nothing more I hate in the graders notes is spine stress. 
That means it was either read way too many times or it was pressed too damn hard. So anyway, I'm going to leave this in for six minutes under heat. And then I am going to take it out. I'm not going to take it out. I'm going to leave it in for three more hours where this is cold and the press is off. So the book does not revert back and undo everything we just did. So I will see you in three hours and six minutes, which will be like three seconds for you. Let's see what we got. Front cover looks pretty nice. Not the best corners. There's that stain, but that non color breaking fold is still there a little bit on the back um, I actually think I am gonna hit this one more time to get that out of the back uh, front looks good though you know, obviously there's color breaking ticks but nothing you can do about that so that is it so if you like this video you've enjoyed this video hit that like button Click that subscribe button because I could do this all freaking day.